The NBA regular season done and in the books. We head to the postseason. Lakers and Pelicans, short number, chop around. It's a flip-flop back and forth. I see Lakers minus one. I see Pelicans minus one. We're going to go Pelicans money line here. I think the wrong team is favored. The Lakers continue to be overpriced. New Orleans is one of three teams in the NBA this season that is top 10 in both offensive and defensive efficiency. LA's defense really will be the issue here. They're allowing 120 points per game on the road and 117 over their last five on 49.1% shooting from the field. Now, I have to respect LeBron James and his postseason efforts and his overall effect on the defense for the Lakers. But the Pelicans 13-6 and six against the number one revenging a home loss given the outcome on Sunday between these two teams. Lakers are below 500 teams straight up and against the number on the road this season. Pelicans also 22-10 and 10 straight up against teams. That allow more than 116 points per game. Wrong team favorite here. Give me the Pelicans on the money line for my big game breakdown. Now, on to my best bet for the Tuesday slate. Golden State and Sacramento. Going to look to the over here. Over 225 and a half. I think this number is way too low. I know it's been bet down here, but I'm still not on that side. If you look at the four games between these two teams during the regular season, three of them went over this number by a considerable margin. The one that didn't, the Kings were without De'Aaron Fox in that game. Also, three of the four regular season meetings were decided by one point, which means these two teams will push each other. They've been close all season long. I think that increases the pace. Speaking of which, Warriors 11th in pace in the NBA, Kings 14th. Both of these teams are top 15 shooting teams from the field. Both of these teams average 118 points per game. For the Kings, 118 at home. For the Warriors, 118 on the road. Three of the four totals during the regular season – we're closing totals at 236 or higher. That's 11 points higher than this number. The one game that was not, you guessed it, the one that De'Aaron Fox sat out. This total is way too low. I think these teams put each other. We're going to go over 225 and a half, my best bet on Tuesday in the NBA.